Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, coming to you from the studio, my patio. Had to look out and see the mountain. Where am I? I'm smoking my naked Savinelli 603, and in it is Sleepy Hollow an H and H old dark fire. The old dark fires from 717. I blended this jar a year ago and I didn't know what I was doing. I actually pressed it with pickling glass round glass discs and uh, I remembered uh, four eyed Piper was uh, pressing some tobacco. So I went out and bought those glass discs and pressed it in this for a while. That is what I have left of last year's blend. I gave a bunch away. And I'm enjoying it. Um, it's interesting how our tastes change because um, a year ago, well, let's say today, and I just blended a bunch, and honestly, I wish they had to do it over again. I, I would like um, more of the dark fire, and maybe I, I did a 2575 on the, the pressings and the blending I did today. And I have to say, I wish I had more dark fire in in the one I did a year ago. But what's done is done. I pressed up eight ounces in freezer bags in two ounce. I put that one bottom of the barrel because I'm figuring there's probably more dark fired down at the bottom because I cut it up in little eight inch cubes. So I'll be putting that away until I'm done smoking this up, which, shoot, that might get me through the holidays. I don't smoke it all that much. But, uh, yeah, it's, I was watching James Long and uh, uh, Johnny 2AM Pipe on the patio, and they've been doing, you know, 60, 40, and 50, 50, and I'm thinking, wow, that's too much. That's too much. But... Now that I'm smoking my last year's blend, I'm going, yeah, I probably should have used the Sleepy Dark Hollow to flavor the old Dark Fire instead of the old Dark Fire flavoring the Sleepy Hollow. But, like I said, what's done is done. So I'll put that away. One thing I did do and I wanted to try... is I had some Orlick Dark Strong. And I thought, and it, it was a, um, a broken flake. And I thought, you know what? I think I am going to try what Dark Strong I had left in a jar, weighed out to be, I think, about an ounce. And uh, took some of that uh, this year's Sleepy Hollow. And I put it in a press. So it's Dark Strong, Dark Strong Hollow. And it's a 25 Dark Strong 75% Sleepy Hollow. Put it in there today. <clears throat> the last time I used this was a bit of a nightmare. I did not use the wax paper as uh, Johnny has done in the past, but I did this time. But I still put quite a bit of tobacco in here and it's going to be interesting. I will definitely do a video of me opening this and trying to get the plug out. Um, we'll see. So anyways, just wanted to share that. I know there's been some videos this week on Old Dark Fire and Sleepy Hollow, now named Dark Hollow. This one's named 
dark strong hollow that way I know what's in it but uh, looking forward to the holidays here in El Paso the weather is uh, it's nicer than it's been we've had some rain which cooled it down the high was 75 I don't remember the last time we had a 75 maybe early mid-spring So there you go. Man, I have made some videos today. Made a video of um, the Punto Oros I have for sale. Too cool. Sold one of those. Made a video of the Costellos that I have for sale. Too cool. Sold one of those. So very, that's, that's nice. It's nice to be able to move some of those pipes and maybe even now already be able to go shopping for... Uh, a 602 or a 626 Punto Oro 9 mil. So I'm digging that. Listen, that's all I got. Just mainly wanted to uh, get in on the dark hollow bandwagon and say, Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, Sweet Chicken Baby, Go Texans, you all be safe out.